Cheers. It is Friday and it's a perfect day to play around with the Amiga. Um, do you remember back in the days when we had to struggle to maintain free chip memory? It was uh, quite a hard task. A friend of mine told me about uh, some programs that uh, can help us out a bit. They are called uh, FBLIT and FTEXT. And what they do is use the CPU rather than the blitter to show icons and text and stuff. And that makes it able to use the fast drum for such tasks. So what I wanted to do is to try it out. I have a fresh install of Workbench 3.1 and if you see I've prepared a demo folder with a lot of icons. So if you see the graphics memory it uses about half a megabyte of it just to show the icons in this directory. So let's try it out. I have downloaded it onto my CF card and it's I have uh, an archived it here. So here is FB lit. So we need to read the guide first. Blah blah blah. Let's concentrate on installation. So what we need to do is to copy fblit and fblit GUI to see an fblit library to libs. Anything else we need to do? Uh, add the following line to startup sequence. Okay, so let's do that. I have put my files in stuff files and fblit. So it told us to copy fblit to see and fblit GUI to see and fblit no copy copy fblit library to libs and we needed to add something to the startup sequence just before buy drivers okay so let's go to s where our startup sequence is and edit that start up sequence and it told us to put it just before bind drivers do we have that on a clean installation I'm not sure yes just before so we put it here see FB like this and save and quit <coughs> so in theory we should now be able to open this folder after a reboot of course without seeing this uh, consequence of using one using half a meg of our graphics memory so let's reboot We should now try again. And it still uses our graphics memory. But there was one more part. And that was something called F-text. So mm, let's open the readme for that. 
it replaced the graphics library within. So we copy F text to C and add F text to the startup sequence, just like we did with the other. So let's do that. I need to do stuff and files and copy text to C and we need to change the startup sequence like this and we were told to add F text in the startup sequence after F lib. So let's do that. Here we have F lib. So after that, we add F text like this and save. Okay. Let's try again, reboot. And now we still can't render all those icons without using chip memory. So sometimes it's like that. I need to read what I'm doing wrong. Be right back. Cheers. I've grabbed another beer because this was... Uh, I, had, I had to do some googling and I had to talk to a friend. Um, what they didn't mention in the readme is you needed a new version of uh, Icon Library. Cheers, by the way. And I have downloaded that. Uh, into my CF card and move that back into the 1200. So let's go ahead and install that. So in files, I now have icon library. So let's unpack that. Guess this is one of the cool things with doing unscripted videos. It's you get to see my struggles and maybe you can learn from them. Okay, it's probably an installation. I haven't done this before. It is not. So it is. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I need to copy some files. So in, we need to add something to the startup sequence. And nope, one of my keys was acting up, old keyboard. So I'm not sure 
where to put this. I think it's before set batch. Okay, so I will use load module like this and module and the module I will use is icon library like this this should be it I wish it was an example of load module in, in here somewhere and it is not so let's hope I did that the right way okay let's reboot hopefully it will come back nope I don't have load module okay So I have broken workbench. Okay. If I'm lucky, it should be in here. Load module is not here. Okay, so <laughs> I don't have load module, so I need to take the CF card out of the Amiga 1200, go over to the PC, download load module, copy it over to the CF card, and copy that into C, and then let's try again. So let's do that. Okay, so I've inserted the CF card again, and copied. So we need to do this from the command line as I've broken workbench and I have copied load module this is the moment where I need to say I'm very happy that I have a CF card now and not an internal hard drive and no internet like it was back in the days so let's unpack that mm. okay And do I do I have C at the moment? Okay, anyway, let's copy load module into C. It helps if I write it the wrong way. And now if I reboot, it should work. Please work, it works. We fixed it. So now we have two megabytes of graphic mem. Does everything work? Let's find out. In stuff, demo folder, I have a lot of icons and it worked. So this, this is how you do it. I should have researched it before, but now, you, now I was able to include you in my pain. <laughs> so sorry and not sorry about that. But as you can see, we now have a folder with thousand icons and we are not using any chip mem to show them. So that was what I wanted to show you today. So cheers and this fancy beer, I don't know what's called, beer protector is provided by Darklight, my friends in the demo scene. Cheers, have a wonderful weekend.